I'm going to go over the TED-Ed site and specifically the lesson creation part. It's a really neat feature. So if you go to the TED-Ed and you sign up, it's pretty easy to do, you find this area here, create lessons worth sharing around YouTube videos and find and flip. And so you have to find a video. And so what I did is I went to YouTube and found a video I liked. I'm just going to press Control V. That's the one I wanted. I'm going to press Enter. And there's the video. That's great. And I've selected that one. And now I'm going to flip the video. I haven't selected the one. Okay, I have selected it now. There it is. Okay. <laughs> I guess you have to actually click on it to select it. And now I'm going to flip this video and what that means is create a lesson. So here we go. And let me scroll down here. So let's begin. All right. So I'm going to type in some text. All right. So then I've written this. Uh, this is a video on percent basics. Please take notes on points you think are important or where you might have questions. And I've put that text in there. And now I'm going to go to think. And which is really neat is I can create an open answer question or a multiple choice question. So I'm, let me create an open answer question here. And my question is, um, what does percent mean? So I want to know what the students think that means. I'm just going to save that. Okay, and then that's a question that they they uh, would have to answer, and I can create more questions if I want, but those are questions that students will look at, and then um, I'm going to dig a little deeper, and maybe I'm going to ask something um, a little more profound. Um, now I have to think of something, so I'm not sure that's profound, but in what ways does percent relate to decimals? I could actually put in a link here as well, and notice I've got bold. Um, so that's done. And I'm going to click on Discuss. Uh, and maybe add new discussions here. So, so I put, what questions do you have about the video? All right, and then I put a little explanation. Asking questions is a great way to improve your understanding. I'm going to add this discussion. And there it is. Um, and I'm ready to go. And I clicked on the end finally. So I'm going to use all these features. Now I don't need to use all these features. I can exclude them if I'd like. But uh, I put find at least three uh, real world examples where percents are used. So I'm really working these students hard. And I'm going to finish and flip here. And if I want to share this, I'm going to click on copy to the clipboard. It's copied. And so I did copy it, and here is my lesson. Let's begin. It talks about the percentages. The students can go through the think question and type in an answer and save it. They can dig deeper um, and think about that. Um, they can engage in a discussion so they can actually view the discussion and um, post questions. And then and finally, that uh, is the other question. And I could have put other information and links, etc. But that's a really neat way to um, use a video. And it can be used particularly well, I think, in a flipped classroom. Particularly the think section here, because I could have asked a lot of questions just to make sure that the students comprehend. Sometimes people watch videos as entertainment, and they don't watch it for content. And this would be a really good way for them to do that. And then maybe even post questions. I don't know if I needed to dig deeper and find the questions, but maybe. Uh, I think maybe I would have asked those questions in the think part. So that is how you use TED-Ed, and I think it's a great tool.